All right, where are we? We're in the uh, Big Apple Nine Hole Cup. It's uh, Friday's qualification round. Of course, I waited. I practiced yesterday, went out. I don't have any second shot numbers, but I think I have, I think I know what I want to bring to the cup, <clears throat> or what I want to, what clubs and balls I want to bring, so. I'll watch this video and see if I can hit some perfects today. I, about half my shots yesterday were perfect and half of them weren't. And of course, the ones that weren't perfect were the ones that I really needed to see and the ones that were perfect were the ones that it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Getting out on the course. Sitting outside in the back patio. It's not too bad right now. A little early. Slight bit of cloud. A little bit of cloud cover, so it's kind of cool out here. It is cool right now, but it's going to be hot this afternoon. Let's go check out. Let's go check it out. Checking out D&D &D stuff there. I'm going to the coast this afternoon. and spending the next four or five days and play some D&D &D while I'm over there. All right, hole number one. I got no freaking clue. Got no clue. I'm gonna do the backspin shot and try and bring it down the hill. Is what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring a quasar. 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 I think I tagged quasars. All right, let's see if we can get it going with a quasar. And I'm not sure where I'm at in my club. Probably should check that. It'd probably be helpful. That'd probably be helpful information. I think in the past I've always hit it at max club, even though I wasn't at max, but I can't, I'm not going to swear to that. I could be totally wrong. I know with the new pin placement, the old shot doesn't work. I mean, it's like three feet away from the pin where, you, where you're setting it up. I just need to pick up. I, I saw a 14 yesterday in my qualifying bracket, and I'm just looking for a 12 just to get me in, give me a fairly good tiebreaker. Point four ah. times four point four. Where the hell am I at in my club? I'm in like mid. So it'd be like one per ring. Four point four eight rings. Probably need to turn my grid on. Are you prepared? Are you ready to play? Four point eight four. Hitting it perfect. And that's what I was doing yesterday. I need to set that up so that it's a little past the hole because it's coming, coming, if you're facing it right there, it's coming back towards the front of the cup. I need to put it like outside of the cup, but like if you measure the distance from the flagpole to the edge of the cup, I need to go from the edge of the cup to where the flagpole would be behind the cup to get it to roll out good. I think yesterday that's exactly where I was at. It's possible. I didn't catch whether or not my opponent put on left hand side spin or right hand side spin. You want to put on left hand or right hand side spin to get the ball to come up and go to come to a stop. Otherwise it'll roll out. It keeps going forward and to the left, and what you want it to do is come to a stop and then come back down the hill. I think for those of you that have played golf class for a long time, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but it's hard to explain it. It's hard to explain it. All right, hole number one in the bag. Hole number two. I, now, I've hit hole number two. I haven't hit hole number two perfect all week. 
and so I have no idea but I think I need to move out I started the week off I was like three rings and I think I need to be three and three quarter rings off of the spot let's turn my grid on so the grid really really helps on this hole get the old test pattern working let's go look at hole number two just to make sure it is the hole that I'm thinking it is. It is. And I'm taking the same bag with Kingmaker. Same bag and a Kingmaker. Let's see if I can actually hit this one perfect and get it. Uh... The deal is, is that I should be able to set the shot up so I can hit a great to the left or the right or a perfect and it'll still go through the gap. And I've been a little bit, I need to go more to the left in order to achieve that mystical goal. I'm doing 10% on the drive. I have no idea what my opponent's doing. They're just laying it up. The thing I will tell you, this laying it up right here is a great idea I mean you got a great shot but I've had it happen where I've caught the slide right there and BAM you're in trouble and that was laying it up a little too far back you really need to be into the next opening I mean you can still get it from there but so I'm gonna line my center line up with that transitional area I want to be three and three-quarter rings off max max probably don't have to do any overpower at all is the deal 28 I'm just gonna do I'm not gonna do any overpower 28 that'd be like 31 31 max curl and I still hit it great <laughs> okay okay made it through that that's the spot right there so it's three and three quarter rings so if i'd hit it perfect it went through if i hit a great to the left or a great to the right it'll still go through and i've been doing overpower on that all week trying to really blast it up there but you don't have to do any overpower on it. it only took me three times to play in it to remember that you don't have to do any overpower look at that dumbass See if my opponent can get up there. And I am always mystified on this second shot. Like if you're way up close, you need to take wind off. But from back here, you're still downhill. You should be taking wind off. I got plenty of room. That's, that's where I want. That's where I'd like to be. That's not going to work. Let's make sure I have enough room to work out wind. So I'm a minimum club, so it's 3 divided by 1.2. It's 2.5 rings. Hitting it perfect. I just did a straight up adjustment there. I didn't add on anything or take anything off or do anything, and I'm never sure. Woo! In the hole. You're you're downhill. You should be taking wind off. But if I had wind on, it's wrong. If I take wind off, it's wrong. So that was a straight up shot. Straight up in the hole. Now we come to the crux hole. We got to get a. We got to get the eagle on this and let's see which way the wind's blowing. This is the hole right here that's it's a birdie hole with an eagle opportunity. And what we need to do is we need to make sure we get that eagle. We've got wind blowing in our favor. 
And one of the things I don't have in my odd odd account, well, first of all, I'm playing, anytime we have the nine hole cups on, I play my odd odd account pro so I can try and get it up to tier three and match up with a uh, Dunner. One of the comments I got was that if I, if I win this nine hole cup that I would be in tier three, I won the last nine hole cup and I, I assumed that if you won, like it would raise you up. I was in tier two and I won. I figured it would raise me up to tier three, but it didn't. So I'm not sure if you have to have multiple wins or what the deal is. I'm still working on it. All right, what do we got here? Five power, three win. I really want to use the wind. Five power, four top spin boost, one side spin, no wind. That's the one. That's the ball right there. That is the ball. Now, now the big question is, can I hit it? Perfect. And I really want to bring a club, a bag that's got a... I'm going to bring my Horizon. It's the question of... The thing I like about it is it's really difficult down there on the end. And I like the fact that the Horizon's got ball guides. So you can kind of see where the hell you're going. It's hard to... And I'm not really going to need the backspin. The backspin's not the issue here. It's the it's the power, some top spin. I'm gonna bring my horizon. What the hell? What the hell? I think it's at two per ring. Even though it doesn't you know it's 45, I think with a power five ball, I think it's two per ring. I got the right ball picked. Alright. Alright, here we go. Got to get an eagle on this one. This is the hole right here. This should be a minus 11 course, where normally it's minus 12. But this is the hole right here that's throwing us off. And if we if we have a tailwind, we might be able to get the eagle. If you got a better ball, 5-power ball with top soon boost or a 5-power ball, you can use that wind. That definitely helps. But if we have a headwind here, I'm not even sure with a with a topspin boost ball because the wind like if you have a three mile an hour wind let's say you had a four mile an hour wind the wind is pushing up against it about like eight I'm gonna get all of that topspin on there three seven I'm gonna do two rings I'm going to push the forward wind back in, which isn't a lot. It's like two rings great to the right. That shouldn't kill me. I'm either going to make it over or I'm not. There we go. I got killer distance. Shit, I could probably could have bought a sniper from that distance. I'm just going to do a straight up shot. My goal here is not to try and, I mean, I, you can go for Alvy. I may be able, I may actually have a pretty good shot at Alvy if I can get my first bounce in front of that sand trap. I may be able to actually get a look at the hole. But the deal is, is I could give, I, I don't really care about the Alvy. <laughs> I just want to get the eagle. That's the whole goal here. You don't, don't lose, don't lose sight. This is one of those situations where you come in with the best of intentions and you end up getting, you end up jinking the, the second shot. All right, I am way the hell up there. Excellent, excellent. Two per ring, 3.4 divided by 2, 1.7. I'm just going to do the 1.7. I My goal here is just to get an eagle. I am going to lean just a little and see if I can throw it a little towards the cup. And I hit it one ring great to the left, which throws it even more to the cup. Roll off. 
oh my god I've had that happen where it caught the slope and went all the way down to the narrow part down at the bottom and you can't make the putt from down there and it didn't get off the course it went all the way down to the bottom of that where it caught that hill and rolled down so you can get some brutal <laughs> brutal There's several make or break holes in this. The, the fun thing about this course is that there's a lot of holes in this course that are one shot at a time. Like, you may have a decent shot at picking up something, but you have to have success on your drive. You gotta execute on the drive shot and put yourself in that spot. Other, and, and it's not, it's one shot at a time. There's not a lot of courses that are out there that's like that where you, you can throw it out there and if you're off just a little, you still got an awesome second shot. But this course right here, you've got to put yourself in the right position. Making some notes here. Making some notes on number two, I'm going to start behind the cup. And I did a plus 10. At mid. Which is one per ring. And hole number three, it's just about whether or not you can make it over. So, like, we have an easier time making it over on days where there's tailwind, for sure. Or sidewind. Alright. We survived hole number three. Hole number four. What is hole number four? I do not remember. All right. This hole right here is, is in my opinion, dangerous. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start at the bottom. Where's my pen? I'm going to start at the bottom and then work my way up. I think during the practice round of the scouting report, I tried a backspin shot here. I tried to do the rough bump from here, but where the pin's at, it's you got the pin and it's on a little hump, and then it rolls off on this side and it rolls off on this side. So when you're trying to bring your ball guide around and you move to get it so that it's going to the hole, it catches this side of the slope and it throws it way off. You move it back and it catches this side of the slope and it throws it way off, and it's hard to get it to go right to the cup. So I'm not going to dick around with the rough bump. I'm going to start off from down here and then just try and go straight at it that's that 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 that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna take a don't think we need side spins not a big issue so i'm gonna take a navigator if i need to i can switch to a quasar i'm gonna take my grizzly grizzly i have no idea where i'm at in my club though that should be helpful. So, goal number one, let's find out where I'm at in my club. It should be 0.9 per ring at max and one per ring at mid. I don't have my, I don't have my uh, cheat sheet with me. Let me go grab it. Stay right there, watch my opponent. It should be 0.9, if the wind's over 2, it's minus 0.1. And if it's at mid, it's 1.0. If the wind's over 2, it's plus 0.1. And if it's at minimum, it's 1.3 minus 0.1. I think it's at mid. But I'm not going to swear to that. A tsunami! He must be trying to backspin shot. They were. 
Point two. There's Max. There's Min. So I'm at mid club. So 4.2 divided by 1 plus 0 0.1. 4.72 rings. 4.72 rings. And a two side spin ball would help here. Hey. Four point seven two rings. I'm gonna run out of time. Hitting it perfect. Damn, I can't believe I got that off in time. And somewhat was going in the right direction. Did not pull it enough. Probably should have did like plus twenty five there. with a quasar. Gotta have a quasar. Katana would probably work even better. But a quasar will work. There's so much movement. You can see the, where the hole's at on that freaking mound. And I'm not a fan of the putts on the green here. I'm that close and I still have to put on that much shit. Lucky I made that. All right, we got we got past. We survived hole number four. Hole number five. What is hole number five? That's a good question. Hole number five. Hole number five. Alright, I'm trying to get out as far as I can out to this side to open up the lane and I can go straight to the cup. And I'm going to bring a katana and I'm going to use my number two bag, my accurate bag, and a katana. And now I have no idea how much topspin to put on. That's the deal. Probably, probably need to write that down. And it does seem like I'm going to take the shot to the cup at, at zero, wherever I'm at in my club. I think I'm at mid-club, but it does seem like I need to add something. It seemed like I needed to add on like plus 0.2 or there was some adjustment that needed to be made here because it, we'll see, we'll see. We shall see if I can get to the right spot. If you're playing this from the pro tees, I play it on the right hand side of the tree. You can go way back, especially if you bring like a big topper. You can go way back and you can run your top spin out and you can easily get around it. People, there is a way to max overpower hook shot this and you can get, get, I'm just wondering if they're trying to go way the way the hell up there, and they could be in a, in wedge range. Should probably rethink some of these holes like this. Ooh man, if they'd have made it out right there, that'd have been a that'd have been a great look at it. That would have been a great look at it. And let's see what my opponent did right there. They were trying to get, just bleed out right from that spot and get out there. The problem here is, is that when the wind pushes you forward, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the wind in. I'm, I'm gonna try the same thing. I'm gonna see if you can get out there. Ah, I left the wind in and it made me hit right there. Okay. 
should take the wind out and then uh, and then set that shot up instead of leaving the wind in. <laughs> I had a plan on this hole, and this is a great hole to get an eagle on. Then I got I got distracted by my opponent. That is a, that is a way to do, look at it. And I'll tell you, the way to do that is probably with a three power ball and your big topper. You got a lot more uh, topspin. I'm gonna go practice that hole because that might be a different way to play this hole than I've played before. There is a max overpower hook shot that you can do, like if you're an expert and you can get on a one. It is super risky, but you can you can do it. But I'm just wondering, you might be able to get your ass up there and wedge. I may practice this hole one time. I can easily recover from where I'm at, but. Uh, Easily recover, there's Max. be in trouble <laughs> I am in trouble all right that was like 27 rings great to the right watch I, well, my, I came out of this hole with the best of intentions and I got distracted by my opponent now this is the biggest recovery shot of the whole round right here fucking around So close wind is not a factor, but I'm going to hedge my bet. I'm going to give myself a perfect and a great to the right. That was a two ring great to the right, so that won't go in. <laughs> Look, I came in here with the best of intentions and ended up getting a birdie. And I was in a position where I could have recovered. I'm going to practice that hole because I think that my opponent might have been onto something there. I think my opponent might have been on to something. That would be worth the... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and practice that hole once. Practice, practice, practice. What hole was that? Is hole number five? I think my opponent might have been on to something. Ricky, practice now. Hole number five, is that the one? That is the one. Let's see if I got a... Do I have a big topper bag? Shit, I don't even have a big topper bag. Glad I checked that before I went out there. I am using that bag. I am not using that bag. I am not going to get into my long iron range. And I think the way to do that is to bring out a three power ball. So the big topper doesn't hit quite as far. I was back from my red line, but that gives me plenty of maneuverability. Let's practice. Hole number five. Try that. Because if you can change from short iron to wedge, that's huge. Okay, you're right at your red line with a three power ball. to do just a little bit of overpower you got to watch it because if you hit too much overpower you get yourself four three it's two point one per ring there's four two a little so I am in a little bit of power
one ring grate to the right. That shouldn't kill me, but let's see what the bleed out is here. Oh yeah, I think that might actually work. I think that, I think that's going to put me in wedge. And a three power topspin boost ball might make that shot even easier so you could pull back a little from the red line and not have to, uh, or a four, a f okay, so the deal there is, is that a, a four power ball is not really gonna help you because of the way that the terrain is up there. The closer you get to that fairway that I'm hitting on, the closer you get to the front of it, the more it's, it's shortening up the ball guide. And so if you're pulling back, you're hitting more on that hill face and it's making the, the bounce go higher so that it's throwing the ball out there farther before it starts doing the rough bump. And so I think like a three power topspin boost ball, I am in wedge. Look at that, I'm in max wedge. That is fucking superior. I'm going to try just a straight up shot. So it's 3.0 divided by 1.2. It's 2.5 rings. And trying to get hooked up with the wind. There's two and a half rings. Hitting it perfect. In the hole. That might be the way to go right there. I think even with the other pin placement, the other pin placement, the pin's back a little bit farther, so you'd definitely be at max club. But it's back, and I, it seems like it might be back, or maybe on the same plane, but it's more to the right. I might actually, I, I like to, because of the ball inventory we have now, there's some of these holes that we can possibly rethink them and this might be a hole to rethink how to play that play play that it's probably pretty stupid of me to practice it while I was in the middle of my round but nothing ventured nothing gained <laughs> nice so there's two ways to get the eagle I'm gonna think about that because like, I'll tell you, I think the big topper is the way to go, but I really think, like, I kind of got, I was in a little bit of overpower there, and if we had a day where the wind was headwind on that drive, it could cause me a little bit of problems. That, if you have any of these balls in your inventory, where you've got the topspin boost on a power three ball, this might be the way to go because what you could do is in this area, you could you could see when I was in here. Let me zoom in a little. You could see when I was in this area because of the the hill here, and there's a divot up at the top. That if I pushed it forward, when I pushed it forward, it actually shortened my ball guide up. But when I pulled back, and there's a hill, this is going uphill here, so you're hitting it off the hill face. When you're hitting it off the hill face, you get a bigger a, your 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 bounce is higher and so it's throwing you out there farther and it lengthens your ball guide out so if I could if I use one of those topspin boost balls I could pull back just a little bit give myself a little teeny bit of breathing room on the red line and I could run the topspin so if I did have a day where I had this kind of wind I could still work the wind out now if you pull back too far on this side right here it's all downhill and if you pull back too far to the point where you're hitting on this, then what it's going to do is it's going to, so you're hitting on a downhill like this, so it's going to come in and then it's going to want to take a flat bounce. Whereas if you're hitting on the hill like this, it comes in and hits and then it takes a bigger bounce and it throws you farther out there. So that's why you were seeing the ball guide go. But when it gets up here to the top where it gets flat and it's got that little divot, it was shortening it up. So there's a, there's a sweet spot out here. But if you had a topspin boost ball, you could probably do it with a four power topspin boost ball or a five power topspin boost ball, but you're really just looking at the topspin boost. You're not really using the power. But hell yeah, if you can get uh, right out into this area, 
versus this area. This is mid short, this is max wedge. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. All right, there we have that hole. I don't feel too bad about dropping a shot, but I learned something. This hole is dramatically different. Well, it's much harder in pro than it is in rookie because you got to get, and it's definitely ball inventory. There's a sign right here. I don't know if we can see it from here. Yeah, you can see the little white, the little white yardage marker. I want my bounce to be right in line with that so that I'm trying to get, so that I have this length as opposed to coming down through it where I'm here. And so my ball would terminate here and I'm giving myself more distance. So if it does catch it real thin down here, I've got more distance so that it can stay in the fairway. You'll see a lot of people this week end up in the rough right here. And if they moved it over just slightly to where that, where that sign is, they could lengthen out their shot. So if they did hit it a little thin, they get an extra 10 or 15 yards that they could roll out before they got into the rough. All right, I'm taking a, uh, which way is the wind blowing? Which way is the wind blowing? I think I'm just gonna take a, I think I can just use a Titan. Titan, the king, the king of balls. And an extra, extra mile. Ways the wind blowing. The wind works. And I'm doing an extra 10% on the drive, but I'm not so sure I shouldn't be doing 15% on the drive. I always use my calculator on this hole when I was doing the wind adjustment for the drive, and I don't normally do calculator adjustments on drives. It's usually pretty easy because, you know, like if we're in 10 or 20%, it's pretty easy to do the math. But when you're starting to do 15, it's not that it's hard to do the math. It's just it takes an extra second, and it's easier just to plug it into the calculator. I was doing 10, but it seemed like it was throwing me just a little bit farther than, it, than I wanted it to. What I like to do is run max top spin and then pull back to the spot where that way I can pull back a little bit from the red line and give myself a little bit of leeway on the days when we do have headwind. Four point two divided by two point one, two point three rings. There's two, three. No overpower, just hit it perfect. And I hit it seventy five thousand rings great to the right. I didn't want to hit it from that direction. I, I, I should have hit it from the other side. I don't even know if I can recover from here. I'm so far back. I started off with a great round and now I'm dicking around and I uh, can't hit that not perfect. <laughs> That's going to be difficult to recover from there. This wind will help me. And I have a Nirvana, so that helps too. This might be one of those situations where I w wish that I had my, uh, I had been playing, I finally got my off-roader to level seven and I lost confidence in it. So I switched to, uh, I went back to my Nirvana, but this, I think the off-roader's got more topspin. A little bit less yardage, but more topspin. Overpower it. In the rough. In the rough. 
What a round. Shit. Am I even going to qualify? I wasn't dicking around on that one hole. I was just trying something new. And it did work out, but it didn't work out during the round. But here, I was definitely, I definitely had two bad shots in a row. I'm going to blame my stylus. It had to be my stylus as well. It couldn't possibly be mine. I'm using my blue stylus, so it's definitely the blue stylus. Definitely. Definitely. shit dropped another one look at that drop two that'll put me to 10 I don't know if 10 will make it I doubt that it will in this bracket that's if I get all the rest of them and I still got a couple opportunities to pick shots up so I'm not going to lose hope yet this is the problem when you wait till the very last day to qualify. During regular tournaments, I always like to qualify on Tuesday was the day. And then I like to keep my practice account open all week. And then I could practice Monday, Tuesday, and then qualify on Wednesday. And then if it didn't work out, it didn't work out. But in my main account, usually I went out on Tuesday. And Tuesday was the day to qualify. You don't want to wait till the last minute because you never know how your round's going to go. And this wouldn't be the first time. Well, there's a bunch of people at 6 at 7. 12 at the top. I still got an opportunity to get a 10. What, we got 7, 8, and 9. There's 2, 3, 4. I still got an opportunity to get 11. I can make it. I can make it. I can do this. I still can pick shots up. So, and this is one right here. Now, I was dicking around the other day and I hit out to here and you've got a long iron coming in or you can just lay it up and you got a, a, a wood. It's really safe to just lay it up. It Well, it's still a technical shot. you gotta, you got to contend with that sand and that coarse slopes, but I'm going to just bring out a... I think you can just do it with a katana. And my number two bag and a katana and just lay it up. Let's be uh Yeah, and we'll just do that. We'll just be safe. Now in pro I used plus ten and was in the hole. It seemed like yesterday I did plus ten and I hit it perfect and I was not in the hole. I almost needed to do nothing. Dude, dude. See where their second bounce is at? If their second bounce clips the rough, it'll die right there and it may not go through. I think I would have came in from the right and tried to bring it back around over the top of that hill. That way you got uh, gravity helping you as well. You can recover from there though, pretty easily. Come from up here and try and go over. That way it's falling down the hill. Two eight and do three. And if I can grab the ring set instead of the course, and I'm going to lean a little bit to the left just to bring it back to the fairway. 
Isn't that perfect? Nice and easy, that should give me a great sniper shot right to the cup. It looks pretty level. I'm just going to do a straight up shot and see where it puts me. Just plus zero. Sniper should be one to one minus point one if the wind's over three. But I think I'm actually in mid club, so it's 1.1. Let's make this and we'll be back on track. Not perfectly back on track, but let's make the next three and we'll just be back on track. Dicking around. Woo, in and out. <laughs> Close. There's Max, there's Man. And I'm damn near at men club. I'm going to count that as men. So it would be 3 divided by 1.2. 2.5 rings. Two 2.5. Get lined up here. Damn it. Keep grabbing the course instead of the rank set. Two, five. Getting it perfect. Woo! In and out. Just a little too long. A little too much. <laughs> we both we both scared the shit out of the hole. That's the deal. We both had our speed wrong. That was just a straight up shot at minimum club. That was definitely my fault with the speed. I did run it through there and you're going up the hill. It should slow down a little bit, but it didn't. It rolled out. In the hole. Birdie. We'll get some, hopefully tomorrow. I will have to get up early and play. From the bright and shiny Oregon coast. All right, I'm gonna take. Let me get my bag set up first. I'm taking a quasar, or excuse me, a katana. That is selected, and I'm taking my any bag that's got a grizzly. Let me make sure I'm thinking of the right hole. Hole number eight. Yes, I'm thinking of the right hole. I'm doing a 50% wind adjustment. Been close. Close. It doesn't funnel down to the cup as, as well from this location as it does in the other pin location. I like the original pin location better. Kel Jacks. Thanks for joining the channel. See if they're hitting off the hill face or if they're hitting from the. Yeah, because the other pen, see where their ball guide's leading down? The other pen placement is like right down through that path. So you can walk your ball guide all the way down to the cup. 
And I think the reason they're not able to get enough on there is because they don't have enough side spin with that navigator. I think you could do it with a Quasar with the two side spin, but I think three side spins even better. I'm pretty sure in the past I've just been hitting one per ring, but... I'm going to hit it wherever the hell it's at in the club. And I think with a two power ball, it's probably... I think I was using one per ring, and it's probably in mid. There's Max. There's min, there's mid, so I'm about mid. And it does break off to the left. So 4.3, 6.45 rings. There's six. Four five. Ah, oh, and great to the right. Arr. I think the three sides my ball works better. Because my opponent couldn't get enough, it couldn't get it to to turn the corner enough with a one side spin ball and I think a two side spin ball would have helped but I think a three side spin ball is definitely the way to go and it does tail off to the right well let me draw that out the cup the cup is here and it's coming down the hill and I suppose if you're facing the cup from this way it tails off to the left so if your ball guide's coming on to the right it'll tail off to the left a little bit all right bag number well, let's see if we can get this one right bag number two and I'm bag number two and a kingmaker and I think if I remember correctly I know yesterday I hit this like 27 rings great to the right and ended up in the rough. You can recover from out there, but that's not the way to go. And I pulled back from the red line, I think to like the plus five or six mark. I don't have any of that shit written down. I'm not going to put it on any more than two topspin. I'm going to put on like one and three quarter topspin. It might actually be one. If I can get an opponent. If, 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 if I can get an opponent. You need the three power ball. If you can get all the way to the end, there's a rough bump that you can do down there. Plus 16. Pull back to the plus six mark. I'm gonna be three rings off. Side spin. One top spin. I'm just gonna use one top spin. I'm gonna be three and a half rings off at the plus six mark. Three five. I'm gonna do three eight. There's three. Eight. Max curl, no overpower. And I still hit it fucking two rings great to the left, to the right. That'll put me in the rough, right here. That's exactly where I was at yesterday. You can hit a one ring great to the right and you'll bleed off and you'll end up in the fairway. You can hit a perfect or you can hit a one ring great to the left and it's perfect right there. But you cannot hit two rings great on either side. So I can recover, but I don't have the ideal shot. What kind of round was this? 
this is the round that you want to have in your in your qualifying round so that you can get all this shit out of your system but i am gonna i think i'm gonna switch the, the way i shoot that one par four and i'm gonna start i'm gonna go out there and see if i can get into my wedge range nice very nice very nice How am I not able to recover from there? Three nine. I could have swore I could make that island from there, but maybe it's just because I usually fail way up there in the front, like I'll overshoot it and I'm in the front and you can easily recover from that spot. I still got a lot of work to get done. Jesus. Hey, Seuss. Hey, Seuss. I feel like I'm playing Dale Appleby golf today. I'm rough to rough to rough. <laughs> I saw Dale Appleby had a video on there last night. It was like last last stream as a bachelor. Sure, don't invite everybody to the wedding, dude. Come on, man. I just live right down the road from you. I would have came up. Don't want to be friends with me. I got gotcha. you. Didn't want a gift. I think they're going on a cruise for their wedding. Well, at least they were thinking about going on a cruise. I'm not sure exactly what they're doing. Okay, I'm at max wedge. So it's 3.4 divided by 1.2. 2.83 rings. Two, picked one up, picked up a hole that we can't, that's really hard to pick up, and then drop three. I think that'd be shit. So I picked up one, got the one that we didn't, that we really needed to pick up. And that put me at 13, and then I dropped two, that put me back at 11. So 11's the minimum score. So what a round! What a round! Doing the sine wave thing here. I'm, I'm, I'm going up and down, up and down. What kind of round was that? <laughs> 12 at the top? Yeah, somebody will come up and get a really good score at the top. So I think 11s will make it. But uh, somebody will come up and shoot a 13 or a 14 at the top. I'm really, I'm really like in the weekend round, I really think I need to shoot 14 plus in order to have any shot at the, at a, at a gold banner but like if you could shoot a third if you could shoot a 14 straight up you, you're probably in banner territory but it but i think for a gold you probably need to pick up the one that we're having a hard time with number three and then you'll have to pick up two or three other shots so that's the way it is there you go that was the uh, qualifying round in the rookie division what a round i am going to change how i play hole number is it hole number five I mean, it might be hole number five. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change how I play that hole. And um, 
I'm going to try and get myself out there into a wedge range. I, that might be, it looks tricky. It looks like one of those things where if, if you don't get everything going your way because of the terrain, you could have the best of intentions and end up in the shit. But uh, if I can go from long iron to, or short iron to wedge, that's, that's always good. Thanks for watching. I will catch you tomorrow and uh, stay safe.